question is there are some confusions over the Delhi Lokpal uh, jurisdiction. AAP has okay. alleged that you asked Arvind to file the FIR against Congress Union Minister Virapan Moili on behalf of Delhi government. Then why cannot Lokpal look into central government corruption? How are they different? If you could explain with an example to us. Yes, you see, uh, so far as the Anti-Corruption Bureau of Delhi is concerned, that's one uh, police station of the Delhi police, which has been given jurisdiction to investigate all crimes of corruption. Uh, the police has territorial jurisdiction, unlike the Lokpal. See, the uh, concept of jurisdiction of the Lokpal was that the jurisdiction of the Lokpal would depend upon whether it's the central Lokpal or the state Lokpal. The central Lokpal would have jurisdiction over all central public servants, irrespective of where they commit the corruption, where they do the corruption. The state Lokayuks would have jurisdiction over the state public servants irrespective of where they do the corruption. That is different from the jurisdiction of a police station which exercises territorial jurisdiction over every crime committed within the territory of that police station. The Anti-Corruption Bureau of Delhi is a part of the Delhi police which investigates all corruption which happens within Delhi. Therefore, the Anti-Corruption Bureau of Delhi can investigate uh, corruption even of the central government. Uh, but the Lokpal and the Lokayuk jurisdiction were conceived of on a totally different basis. Uh, naturally, as I said, you see the central government will say that the central Lokpal will be investigating the corruption of the uh, central government and therefore why should the Delhi Lokpal do so? Uh, especially when it was made very clear in, in our own Lokpal bill, the Uttarakhand bill as well as the 2014 bill that the Lok Ayuks of the states will exercise jurisdiction over only the state public servants. And that's why you see because the central government is in Delhi, the Delhi police is not controlled by the Delhi government. Because international uh, embassies are also in Delhi, therefore the Delhi police is under the control under the Indian constitution. The Delhi police is controlled by the central government. Anti-Corruption Bureau was for the for some time transferred to the administrative control of the Delhi government, but now they have withdrawn that administrative control. The Anti-Corruption Bureau is also controlled by the central government. So therefore, <clears throat> therefore, uh, uh, this argument that merely because the Anti-Corruption Bureau has jurisdiction to investigate corruption of central ministers also does not mean that the state Lokayuks must or should also have that jurisdiction that was uh, framed and drafted on a completely different basis and if, if the Ahmadmi party insists on retaining this clause as they have done you can be rest assured that this bill will never become law because in Delhi no bill can passed by the assembly can become law unless it is an approved by the president. 